Hello friends, myself Abhishek Sharma, working as an assistant professor in Biani group of colleges. Today I am here to present one of the major topic of the plant tissue culture technique. The backbone of the plant tissue culture technique is the isolation of the cells and the culture of these cells for the further experimentation. The further experimentation involves the molecular biology of the genetics of the cells to improve the characteristics of the plants as well as the other further experiments. So initially how these cells are isolated from the explants so that they can be grown inside the in vitro environment. Basically they are two modes of the isolation of cells. First is the mechanical method, second is the enzymatical method. The mechanical method involves two types of techniques. First is the tearing or the chopping of the cells or the tissue or the expand and second is the agitation of the uh, callus cells inside the liquid media with the help of around 2000 rounds per meter uh, speed on the shaker rotatory shaker so that the cells can be isolated whereas the second methods involved is the enzymatical method that requires the enzymes like pepin or cellulase or the macerozymes so that the uh, cell walls of the plant cells can be dissolved and the cells can be easily separated. The mechanical method. As I told you, the mechanical method involves two steps. First is the chopping or the tearing of the expand. The second is the suspension method. In the uh, shearing or the chopping or the tearing, of the explant, the most resourceful explant to isolate the cells is the juvenile leaves. The leaves were initially taken out from the in vitro environment or the in vivo environment. First step is the sterilization of this juvenile leaf. Second, with the help of a sterilized needle or the sterilized forceps, what we do, we use to tear out the cells from the surface of the leaves. These teared leaves were further taken out and isolated on the culture media and further growth with the help of 16 hours duration of light and 8 hour duration of dark with the help of 25 degree centigrade plus minus 2 degree temperature. Whereas in the suspension method what we do first we initially initiate the callus culture with the help of the in vitro grown or the in, vi in vivo grown <coughs> leaf explants and these uh, grown callus species were first converted into the friable callus species. Now these friable callus species were then transferred into the liquid media. This liquid media is put on the rotatory shaker where it was given a speed of 200 rounds per meter so that the harsh agitation was provided to the friable callus so that the single small uh, cells were isolated from the callus species. These uh, isolated cells were further taken out for the further experiment. Now the enzymatical method. The enzymatical method was given in the 1960s by a senior scientist Edward C. Cocking. Uh, the principle behind the enzymatical method is that the cell of the plant cells are highly compact, of the cells of the tissue is highly compact and they are associated with the help of the cell one that is made up of pectin. This pectin, if can be uh, dissolved with the help of some enzymes, then these cells can be isolated. So there are two specific enzymes. First is pectinase and second is the macerozymes. These enzymes were initially isolated from the plant cells itself. Now these cells were used to isolate the cells from again same the juvenile leaves of the in vitro growing or the in vivo growing plants. Initially the plant leaf expands were taken out they are surface sterilized and the enzymatic treatment were initially provided for around 35 to 45 minutes to the leaf uh, cells and then the uh, uh, conditions were uh, centrifuged for 5 minutes so that the isolated cells were down in, with the, uh, in the form of pellet and can be uh, uh, easily separated from the pellet by using the liquid culture media so that they can be further grown. Now the culture of technique. Now at this end we have the isolated cells with the help of mechanical and the enzymatical method. Now further what we need to do is the culture of these isolated cells. The, uh, the culture of these isolated cells can be easily done with the help of different 
techniques. Initially, these techniques were derived in the 1980s by the some uh, important uh, experimentations like Bergman cell plating techniques, filter paper raft nurse te techniques, etc., etc. So now we will discuss the different techniques for the um, uh, culture of the cells isolated by the enzymatical method as well as chemical method. The first technique is the Bergman cell plating technique. Second technique is the filter paper raft nurse technique. Third technique is the, the micro chamber culture technique. And the fourth technique is the micro chamber technique. In the first technique, the Bergman cell plating technique, what we do, we just take out these isolated cells by the help of mechanical method or the enzymatic method. We take out these cells and uh, generally grow inside the liquid Murashike and Skog media in a half liter concentration. Whereas the half liter concentration of the same MS media was added with the one uh, liter concentration of agar. In the half liter MS media having the one liter concentration of agar is molted initially and then settled down at the 35 degree centigrade so that the agar can be heated down slowly slowly. After that the both the mixtures were <coughs> the both the mixtures were mixed together and a final mixture was prepared in which the agar the MS media and the cells were there. After that at the uh, 35 degree centigrade these particular solutions were poured inside the petri plates so that the single cells can be uh, grown in a petri plate at uh, different locations. After that, this, uh, after that the petri plates were allowed to solidify where the agar gets solidified at around 25 degree centigrade stage and initially these petri plates were uh, put down under the microscope and initially the numbers of cells inside the petri plates is counted. After the 25 days of incubation period at 25 degree plus minus 2 degrees centigrade temperature, again the numbers of cell agitates uh, gathered on the petri plates are counted and the plate efficiency of the growing cell is determined. In the second technique, the filter paper nurse raft technique, what we do is that initially we take a initially growing callus of the same species which we want to grow or any another species. Basically this technique is utilized for the growth of those cells, those are not growing easily in the cell cultures. For this what we do is that we take a growing, naturally growing, fastly growing callus pieces of the same species or any other species and initially we grow it on a normal MS media for 30 days. After 30 days what we do, we take the 8 mm by 8 mm length into width of filter paper, sterile filter paper and put down over the growing callus pieces. After that what we do, we allow to grow this condition for further 10 days. In that 10 days what happens generally that the filter paper is wetted down with the water content and the nutrient uh, content of that agar. After 8 to 10 days the cells, those are not giving the result or those are not growing inside the natural conditions were put over that particular filter paper so that the nutrient media via, with the help of agar can be transported inside the growing cells with the help of the filter paper. This is how this technique works. The third technique, the third technique is the micro chamber plating technique or the micro chamber technique. This is one of the sophisticated technique used for the culture of the single cells. Yes, the single cells can be easily grown with the help of the plant tissue culture using the micro chamber technique. This is a very easy technique where we generally use a small microscopic slides and the cover slips. Initially, the sterilized microscopic slides were taken out and two uh, parafilms containing the cover slip was plated over the micro slips. After that, uh, these cells were sealed with the help of parafilm and again so that uh, chambers can be created in between two plates put over the micro slip so that the single cell containing the nutrient media can be dropped down into this well so that it can grow there. After putting the nutrient media with the single cells, a third cover slip was again plated down over these two bridge uh, cover slips and again the conditions were sealed with the parafilm and the conditions were allowed to grow 
around 21 to 25 days with the help of 25 degree plus minus 2 degree centigrade under the condition of 60 hours light and 8 hour darts or completely dark conditions. In this uh, technique, the culture of the single cell is very brilliant and uh, maximum 80 to 90 percent chance are there that the single cell cells will grow. Now the final technique is the micro chamber technique. The micro chamber technique involves uh, micro chambers made up of two types of chambers. First is the outer chambers and second is the inner chamber. The outer chamber contains the sterilized distal water whereas the internal uh, micro chambers contains the nutrient liquid media uh, with the range of 0.25 microliter to 5 microliter. In the inner chambers of micro uh, chambers what we do we use to put the single cells or the group of cells and the cover is uh, sealed with the parafilm and then the main cover is put it down so that the cells can be allowed to grow for the further 21 to 25 days with the same again condition of 25 degree plus minus 2 degree centigrade with 16 hours day and 8 hour lights hours of light or completely 25 uh, 24 hours of dark conditions. These four techniques are uh, highly useful if you want to grow the single cells of the or the gr group of cells. Without these uh, four techniques, the molecular biology, the genetic engineering and the other possible experimental condition of the plant tissue cultures conditions cannot be done in any ways. So the learning of these four cells is highly important if you want to do the experiments related to plant molecular biology or the plant genetics. So this is how from my side. Thank you for watching me. Please like, subscribe and comment. Thank you.